Alright, here's the deal. If you don't leave a like on this video and subscribe, you will have the worst crunker luck ever. So make sure you like and subscribe. Good luck, I hope you got it. Yo guys, what is up? It is CJ or Storable Rings video on my channel once again. Now in today's Crunker video, we're going to be talking about the top 10 rarest items of Crunker Season 3. Now in this series, I talk about the top 10 rarest items inside of each season. Not necessarily from the season, but from inside of the season. I've also made this same video for Season 2 and Season 1, so if you guys want to go check those out, it'll be in the iCard in the top right. With Season 4 coming out seemingly any day now, I thought this would be a perfect time to make this video. I'm not going to lie to you, I almost forgot to make it. But honestly, this list is probably the most interesting list we've had yet. Items are a lot more rare and go for a lot more KR in Season 3, so I'm very excited to see what happens with Season 4. Number 2 is kind of insane on this list. I never saw this coming. But before we get into the video, if you guys are new to this channel and like to see, make sure you guys drop a like and also subscribe to the channel for more more Crunker content like this. Once Season 4 drops, I'm going to be making a ton of content, so if you guys want to see that here first, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications and never miss a video from your boy. And then finally, if you guys are going to be buying Crunkies from the Crunker item shop for Season 4, please use creator code SORBLE. It's by far the best way to support the channel. Let's hop in the top 10 rarest items of Crunker Season 3. Coming in at number 10, we have the unobtainable AK Disintegrator. Fun fact, the Disintegrator was actually the first unobtainable AK, and it was actually one of the three brand new unobtainables that came with Season 3, and honestly, I think this is one of the cleanest skins inside of Crunker so far. It's probably one of my favorite items on this list. Sadly, I do not have it though. In person, I think this is the most shocking part. Only 64 people have this unobtainable, and it's at number 10, so this list is going to be absolutely insane. And the Disintegrator goes for an estimate of 4.4 million KR. Coming in at number 9, we have the Unobtainable Die RGB. Now, I believe RGB came out in Season 2, but correct me if I'm wrong. RGB was one of the most sought-after skins in Season 2, solely from the fact that it is a die and it is a pretty much rainbow die. I know the demand for this item was absolutely insane in Season 2, but it's since slowed down since only so many people in the world have it, and I'm assuming they're not really willing to trade it off. Now, in my opinion, this is probably the best die inside of Crunker, and only 60 people have this item, and it goes for about an estimate of 12 million KR. That's the thing, it's not necessarily going off of how much it costs, but how many units there are in the whole entire world, because technically that does determine how rare the item is. Coming at number 8, we have the Contraband Sniper Rifle Scout Mastery. Now the Scout Mastery is a part of the Black Market, and if you guys know what the Black Market is, it is a few items that you can actually earn, and then purchase. So the way you get Scout Mastery is by getting level 100 Sniper. And all I'll say is I have about 13 days of playtime in Crunker, and probably about half of it was with the Sniper, and I am only level 67. So this thing is extremely rare and I'm sure over time more and more people will get it but at least in Crunker Season 3 it is one of the rarest items in the game. Now to be honest for a level 100 sniper award this thing is kind of lackluster. I personally like it but for level 100 I think it should have been something a little bit more flashy but that's just me. Only 52 people have scout mastery and it costs 10,000 KR to buy it from the black market. That's another thing that I really like about these lists is we can see how different the market changes from season to season and also certain things added like the black market into Crunker. Coming in at number 7 we have the relic back piece golden egg. Now fun fact this is the only relic on the top 10 list of season 3. The golden egg was actually introduced with the Easter event back in season 2. The way you actually obtain this item is being top 50 to find all 150 eggs, which is why this item is so rare. No more than 50 people ever can actually have this item, and the only way it could actually go down is someone just quick sold it. But personally, this item doesn't appeal too much to me. I've been offered it a handful of times. It is a really cool part of Crunker history. It's just nothing that I'd ever rock nor spend that much KR on. And only 50 people in the whole entire world have this item. I believe last list it was 51 because a dev had it, but I'm assuming said dev does not have it anymore. And the golden egg goes for an estimate of 240,000 KR. Coming in at number 6, we have the Contraband Waste Item USS Crunk. Now this is also another item from the black market, and the way you got this item is by getting level 50 runner. If you guys don't know what the runner class is, it is literally just a knife. So in order to get level 50 runner, you just have to keep on playing with the knife and nothing but the knife. And if you guys have never played with a knife before, it's pretty hard to get those melee kills. And to anyone who's gone out of their way to get this, you're a legend, God bless you. I personally don't think I'll ever get this just because who plays Runner. And I'm really not trying to risk my sanity for a waste item. Especially since there's an item in the game called USS TV, I believe. I forget what it's called, but it's literally the exact same item just from Twitch drops. Which does kind of devalue this item a little bit sadly, especially since it is so hard to get. But if you were lucky enough in the last Twitch drops, you could have gotten this item, just not the exact same item. Only 44 people in the world have USS Crunk, and it costs 10,000 KR after hitting level 50 Runner. 
Coming in at number five, we have the contraband back item nuke tamer. And this is actually another black market item. That's the thing. I think with season four, we will see less and less black market items being in the top 10 rarest items because it just takes a very long time and a lot of dedication to get said items. And I'm sure they will add more items into the black market eventually. So they'll probably always be there. But anyways, the nuke tamer is a back piece that has four nukes spinning around your back. And the way you actually get this back item is by calling in a thousand nukes. And to put that into perspective, you guys watch my videos all the time. I almost get a nuke every single video and I only have about 150 nukes, which means I am 850 nukes away from the nuke tamer. So like I said, this is probably going to be one of those items that will always be in the top 10 rarest items in Krunker. But to the people who did get it, mad respect to you. It is one of the hardest items to get inside of Krunker and it is truly an amazing feat. Only 35 people in the world have this item and it costs 3000 KR after getting a thousand nukes. Moving on to number four, we have the unobtainable knife frostbite. Now everybody knows what frostbite is. Frostbite is one of the most legendary items inside of Krunker. I'm not talking about the rarity, I'm talking about its status. I actually have the privilege of having this item. I believe around April or May, something like that, Sid actually traded me this once trading came out. So thank you forever for that, Sid. Frostbite has always been one of the most sought after items just from the fact that you actually can't obtain it. It is truly one of the only unobtainables in the game. There was only two possible ways to get frostbite. To A, buy it from the market from a ridiculous price, or B, be given it by a dev. So you either have to be lucky enough for someone to be selling this on the market or a dev to be selling it on the market and have enough KR to buy said item, or you had to be lucky enough for a dev to give you this unobtainable. And fun fact, they actually are not making any more frostbites. I believe they're giving one more away for the steam release of Krunker, but after that, it is done. So for that reason, it'll always be one of the rarest items inside of Krunker. Only 21 people in the world have frostbite, and frostbite is currently going for an estimate of about 30 million KR, which is just absolutely ridiculous. If you guys really think about how much 30 million KR is, it is disgusting. Like I'm not going to convert it into real life money, but it'd be a lot of money. So we are finally at the top three rarest items inside of Krunker season three. Like I said, number two is going to be very shocking. Let me know in the comments down below right now what you guys think it is. But before we get to the top three, my code with advance is actually 30% off right now. If you guys don't know what advance is, they make energy supplements such as focus or energy, and they actually have a few other products like chill. Advance actually makes the first clinically proven supplement for esports, which pretty much just means it's legit and it's natural and it's healthy for you. So if something like this interests you, I'll have a link in the top of the description. Just check it out. It might interest you. I know this is what gets me going in the morning and Advance has always been very great to me. So if you guys want to buy anything off their store, use code SORABLE for 30% off. It's only going for the next few days and will not be like this again for a very long time. So take advantage of this offer. It means a lot to me. Thank you guys. So let's get to the top three rarest items in Krunker Season 3. Coming in at number three, we have the Shuriken, which is a contraband knife. Now, this is another item from the black market, but keep in mind, it is very, very hard and time consuming to get these items from the black market. In order to get a shuriken, you have to get 10,000 throwing knife kills, which if you really think about it, it's pretty hard to get 10,000 kills normally, and you can only get one throwing knife kill per life. So the fact that anybody has gotten 10,000 throwing knife kills in such a short amount of time is absolutely ridiculous. And that is why it's one of the rarest items in the game right now. I'm sure over time, more and more people will get this, but this is one of those items I don't see a whole lot of people getting especially for what it is it is literally just a knife which is really cool especially since it's a shuriken and you get it for throwing knives and it does a cool little spinny dinny whenever you throw it but personally for me it's just not worth the dedication shockingly only 13 people in the whole entire world have this knife and it costs 10,000 kr after getting 10,000 throwing knife kills all right guys so we're at number two and like i said this is probably gonna blow your mind coming in at number two we have the nova pump now you guys might be asking yourself cj what is the nova pump the Nova Pump is an uncommon shotgun skin, and the actual skin is just the default shotgun. And it is actually the first weapon remodel placeholder. Now this item actually came out in Season 2, but it was tradable inside of Season 3. So the second rarest item inside of Krunker Season 3 is an uncommon shotgun which its appearance is just the default shotgun. The reason why it's so rare is because of how many people actually have it inside of the game and the fact that it's never being made again or given again. And the only way you can obtain this item is if a dev gives it to you. Only seven people in the whole entire world have the Nova Pump shotgun. And I think that's absolutely hilarious because it is an uncommon skin. That's why I said number two was gonna be so shocking because I never expected an uncommon skin, especially a shotgun to be number two rarest item in the world. And it's estimated to go for 14 million KR. 
and or I'd say it is priceless. There's only seven in the world and no one sold it yet, so there's really no set price on it yet. Someone could sell it for 10KR, it'd sell. Someone could sell it for 50 million KR and it would sell. So in my opinion, this item is priceless, especially since it's uncommon and it is so rare. But the price the community has agreed on is 14 million KR. And finally, we are at the rarest item inside of Crunker Season 3. Before we get to that, all I ask is you guys drop a like. Let's try to get this video to 2,000 likes and mean the world to me. And let's get on to number one. Coming in in first place, we have the unobtainable head item, Vertigo. Now, I'm sure this was not a shock to any of you guys. We all know what Vertigo is. Vertigo was actually added with the Easter event in Season 2. The way you actually obtain this item is being the top 5 people to find all 150 eggs in the Easter egg hunt inside of Season 2. And that's why this item is so rare. Because you had to be the fastest top 5 people in the whole entire game to find all 150 eggs. And obviously, only 5 people got this item. Now, personally, I don't like Vertigo all that much. But it does have a ton of value inside of the Crunker community. And it is by far the rarest and most expensive item in the whole entire game. Only six people in the whole entire world have this item, one of them being a dev, the five other being the top five people who found the eggs, and it is estimated to go for 60 million KR. Which I, I just, I personally cannot wrap my head around 60 million KR. Like to put it into perspective, if you had 60 million KR, that would be 120,000 KR spins. 120,000 heroic spins. Imagine how many contraband and unobtainables you can get with that many spins. I don't even know if you could, it would literally probably take a day or two to do all of those spins. It is absolutely ridiculous how much KR some of these items are going for. And that's why I said this is one of the most interesting lists we've had yet. Because I think the most expensive item on the season two list was Vertigo and it went for 1.2 million KR at the time. And before that, I think it was Frostbite in season one and it was going for like 400,000 KR. So it's kind of crazy to see the Crunker market economy just evolve. I'm sure it's going to be even bigger with season four. But I guess we're just gonna have to wait. Hopefully it comes out any day now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys drop a like, a comment, and also subscribe to the channel for more Crunker content like this. I guaranteed you if everyone who watched this video subscribed, we'd be at 90,000 subscribers. We're getting very close to 100,000 subscribers, so if you guys would like to support the channel, please subscribe. I upload Crunker content all the time, so if Crunker's your thing, please subscribe. Yeah guys, I'm very, very excited for season four and the Steam release of Crunker, especially since we've seen over the past three seasons how much has been added and how crazy things can get in terms of KR in the market. And I'm honestly just excited for new skins, new content, new maps, and stuff like that. Let me know in the comments down below how many of these items you guys had. In season two, I only had one of the items. Inside of season three, I still only have one of the items, and that is still Frostbite, my baby. Now, one thing I think people might ask about is how there is no Halloween event items inside of this list. And it's just from the sole fact that none of the items are as rare as these items. Even though they just came out, I guess enough people got enough to where a lot of people have it. Like to put in perspective, 64 people have the unobtainable AK Disintegrator. And I think over 125 people have the rarest contraband from the raid event. So that's why there was no Halloween items inside of this list compared to last season where it was just dominated by Easter event items. But yeah, I think this is the best list we've had so far in terms of prices, how many people had it, and the items. This is by far the most consistent list I think we've had so far. Because last season, like I said, it was just dominated by Easter items and random contrabands that came out right before Season 3. And the first one, it was literally just contraband, contraband, because they're contraband. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I think that about does it for the top 10 rarest items inside of Crunker Season 3. Season 3, you've been a blessing, but Season 4, we're welcoming you with open arms. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and as always, it's been your boy, CJ or sorable i'll see you guys in the next one peace out